Good evening. Welcome to our evening devotions. Faith testing. Do not be surprised, beloved, if the Lord puts to test those who belong to him. There are so many impurities that prevent us from truly living in faith and out of faith. For example, we still have our own self-centered religion. Our own elaborate thinking about what the Lord expects of us and our own limiting expectations of what the Lord is capable of doing. Abram received a strange command from the Lord, an assignment that torments all aspects of his faith. Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer your son as a burnt offering there on one of the mountains that I will show you. This is from Genesis 22. 30, 35 years ago, Abram was obedient to when the Lord called him to take his positions and move to a land that the Lord would designate. Will he now be willing to sacrifice the most precious position, the son of promise, Isaac, whom he loves? The key to understand this extremely strange commandment from the Lord is fortunately already given to us in verse 1 where we read that the Lord wanted to put Abram to the test, not to alienate him, but to draw him closer, to purify his faith. He wanted to test what is really important to Abram. Was the promise to Abram that he would have a child more important than obedience to him? Is it about the gift of God or the God of the gift? Is it about a faith relationship of Abram in which Abram will understand everything? Is Abram's faith limited to what he thinks the Lord can do? Does Abram see the bigger picture of what God is doing? We read from Hebrews 11, Faith is being sure of what we hope and certain of what we do not see. And then verse 17, by faith, Abraham, when God tested him, offered his son Isaac as a sacrifice. He who had received the promise was about to sacrifice his one and only son. Even though God had said to him, it is through Isaac that your offspring will be reckoned. Abraham reasoned that God would rise, raise the dead. And figuratively speaking, he did receive Isaac back from the dead. Abram acts in faith and out of faith. In response to Isaac's question about the sacrificial animal, Abram declares in verse 8, My son God will provide his own sacrificial lamb. Abram ordered also his slave, whom he leaves behind, to go up the mountain alone with Isaac, that he can wait and then promised that they will return. Verse 5, the writer of Hebrews stated that Abram was convinced that God is able to work life from the death. After all, if the Lord could create Isaac from the fruitless bodies of two old people, then surely he can also raise him from this dead. We who live in Jesus Christ in a relationship with God can live therefore through the Spirit, in faith and through faith. We can believe, we can expect the Lord to be faithful to His promises, even if we receive instructions from Him that go against our own benefit and our own discretion. If He finds it necessary, He will put us to the test. Maybe. It's such a time now. Good night.